Today's subscription spot, spots having a look at the Supply Pod by Outer Places monthly subscription box service. The premium subscription box where science meets science fiction. Every single month you can get a selection of science themed, whether it be science novelty themed items or actually science projects delivered to your house every single month. Let me also just start by this saying in this review that points should be given for this really cool box that they come shipped in. Points for that. Virtual star points, of course. On the top there, you've got Supply Pod by Outer Places. Again, really like the look of the box. On the front, www.getsupplypod.com is your address. If you'd like to subscribe and get one of these boxes, if you like what you saw in this video, which it hasn't actually happened yet, although if you've traveled back in time, then yes, you can make that assumption. But if you are happy with the contents in this month's box, you can certainly subscribe. And this is the address on the front of the box. Let's grab Old Red. We're gonna get this box opened up. And we're gonna find out what we got inside from the folks over at Supply Pod. I'm gonna just open up the flap just like that. And let's see what we got inside for this month's box. Let's start for first with a t-shirt. Uh, on the top there, you've got Outer Places where science meets science fiction. And you've got a t-shirt that says, Live Long, Warp Speed. Nice, simple t-shirt with the Vulcan welcome sign, I guess, in the middle there. Live Long, Warp Speed. Very nice, nice, simple tee. Sometimes simple tees are the best. Put that right there. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. We have a Galaxy Nightlight. Uh, on and off switch, maximum seven watt C7 bulb, 125 volts. I guess it would cascade, cascade the galaxy across your sky, or at least not the equivalent of your sky, your ceiling in your bedroom. And I guess that's the light up bulb on the back. And it, is it as simple as the fact that it just lights this on the front to project that onto your wall? We'll have to give that a try. At least the bulb is included. I don't have to worry about buying that right off the bat. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Inside, we also have a solar system planetarium. Assemble your own planetarium model, paint it, and add highlights to create the glow effect. Watch the 30 cm model glow in the dark. It's out of this world. This comes to us from Kids Labs Fun Science Projects. Nice little project there that I can do in my spare time. There's the accessories or the contents. It does come with paint, brush, glow paint, rotating arms, stand platform, and of course your planets. It does, I think, even have Pluto, which some people would debate would be a moon. I would say that's shenanigans. Shenanigans, Pluto was always a planet. Pluto will stay a planet. Let's see what else we have in here. We have a Star Trek LED watch, which looks like it's got like a, I guess, is this a, just to prevent it from turning on? Let's pop it open. See what we got, see what we got. All right, so there's the, there's the bulb right there. It says press here, press here. I'm pressing where I think is here and it's not doing anything. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the time right there. That's not actually the right time, 3.52, unless I've traveled forward in time. Nice LED, it's a rubber band watch as well. Very nice. Well, continuing on with the theme of sci-fi and Star Trek, you've got a pair of Spock ears. This is from Ruby's. Spock ears, not literally, they're not really Spock's ears, they didn't cut them off of his face. But if you wanna mimic the favorite Vulcan among many Star Trek fans, I guess there's two Vok as well, but you can put put those on. You can pretend like you're Spock. Looks like we got even more Star Trek stuff in here. We have a Captain's Log, United Federation of Planets. Inside, it's just lined paper, but you've got the timeline of events. You know what? Let's open it up. I could just talk away about it, but somebody's obviously going to want to see what it looks like inside. Pull it out. There we go. All right, so it is standard line paper, as you can see. On the front, you've got Captain Starship, Commission Stardate, Length of Voyage, Self-Destruct Code. Ooh, you wanna make sure you don't write that in. Somebody got a hold of that, that could be a little disastrous. 
uh, space distance conversions, and early Federation timeline. Starting at 2063, where Dr. Zephyrin Cochran becomes the first human to develop warp speed flight, Vulcans initiate first contact. Also from the Star Trek movie, First Contact. And that goes all the way up to 20, uh, 2293, Kittimer Accords Peace Treaty between the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Yeah, they've got even quotes down here, too. No matter how far we travel or how fast we get there, the most profound discoveries are not necessarily beyond, beyond, <clears throat> beyond the, the next star. They're within us. It was by Captain Jonathan Archer. Uh, there's no way out of any cage. Or there is a way out of any cage. Apparently, Spot needs to get himself some start. I need to get one of those Jordi LaForge visors, apparently, so I can see this better. There's a way out of any cage by Christopher Pike. There's no such thing as the unknown, only things temporarily hidden, temporarily not understood. James T. Kirk, sometimes you can make no mistakes, do everything right, and still lose. Captain Jean-Luc Picard, we are constantly searching, not just for answers to our questions, but for new questions. Captain Benjamin Sisko, fear exists for one purpose, to be conquered. Captain Catherine Janeway. A nice little captain's log. Above and beyond just simply giving us lined paper, they give us a little extra bells and whistles. I like that. Uh, then we have, finally, I think there's, no, that's it. We have also an IDW issue number 59, Star Trek uh, comic book there, with really great artwork on the front. Kirk, Spock, of course, and Bones. McCoy, supply pod outer from outer places. It looks like this is, I guess, a variant to cover. The back an advertisement for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Shadows of the Past, which I guess come also with figurines, perhaps. Pretty cool. So let's have a look at all the things we got inside this month's box from the folks over at uh, Outer Places, uh, the supply pod. Uh, we got, of course, the Star Trek comic. We've got the Galaxy Nightlight, got ourselves Spock ears, a Star Trek LED watch, the t-shirt, a captain's log, and finally, Solar System Planetarium. Uh, again, really cool box. Looking forward to opening up another one of these in the near, near future. Unless I travel in time, then I could basically do the next one right now for my future self, who apparently has to warn me about blenders that are going to be taking over the world. I say to him, blenders, he says, you know what, you'll know what I'm talking about when it happens. Blenders. Uh, in the meantime, though, today's subscription spot, we're having a look at the Supply Pod by Outer Places monthly sci-fi subscription box service. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more subscription spots hanging your way as we have a look at other boxes, other services that can come to your house every single month. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.